Hi ladies, I hope you can hear me. I'm by the beach right now, just taking a walk here in Rimini. It's not quite as blue and beautiful as Puglia, but it's still a really nice, beautiful town to visit and a great place to be. I don't know if you're aware, but I'm actually taking a personal retreat. So I'm here for a few days on my own and I'm learning from a great teacher uh, who has come over from America. He's part of the three principal community and we've been exploring <clears throat> really habits of thought and how thought really is the thing that interferes with everything and really is the um, it, it is the spiritual energy that moves through us. Hi Fiona, great to see you. And so a lot of the times when I'm working with clients, we're um, dealing with people's thoughts. We're dealing with what looks like a huge problem. And so here's the hope in this message today. You know, I'm seeing more deeply that it is not helpful to keep looking at your thinking and to keep looking at the problem. Now I know traditional coaching and traditional therapy and traditional psychology wants to explore the problem and look more deeply at the problem. But what I am seeing more and more for myself and with my clients is that there is nothing helpful there. There is no wisdom that can come from circling constantly on what the problem is. So whether your problem is a weight issue or a lack of well-being or a lack of money or a lack of clientele or you don't like your job, whatever it is, I'm going to ask you today to stop looking there. There is nothing helpful that can come from constantly worrying and stressing about the problem. Now I know that might seem very simplistic and it might seem like Hey Grace, but you don't know what it's like for me. My problem is serious. I'm not taking away from the seriousness of what's in front of you. But I want you to notice that if you're not getting a result, if you're not finding a solution, then the chances are constantly looking at the problem is not helpful. Now here's the hope. We all have access to wisdom. Wisdom has the solution wisdom has the answer. So it doesn't matter what your problem is, whether it's, like I said earlier, a weight issue, a money issue, a relationship issue, a business issue, a career issue. Wisdom is available for you and will always point you in the direction of a solution. Your job is to settle down the, the state of mind enough to access that wisdom, to quieten down enough to see that and hear that wisdom. For me, I want to share something personal that happened the other night, and that is that I ate pizza, and I love pizza, but I find myself in a feeling of heaviness, really, really heavy, and I started beating myself up because I woke up in the middle of the night and I was fine when I woke up but when I couldn't go back to sleep all the thoughts started coming in about how I shouldn't have eaten the pizza and I know that I'm not good on dairy why did I keep having dairy and I really didn't enjoy the feeling of heaviness in my body and I was convinced that that's why I wasn't sleeping and lo and behold as thought as wisdom has it an insight came to me and that was, heaviness is fine, and it's temporary. It's all the thinking that we then put on top of what heaviness means. So for me, my thinking was, I feel heavy, oh my God, I'm going to put on weight, oh my God, I'm going to feel sick tomorrow, oh my God, it's going to be terrible, uh, like I'm not going to sleep the rest of the night, oh my God, I shouldn't have done it. All of those thoughts were the problem, not the heaviness. Heaviness in and of itself is just a feeling and it's temporary. So whatever you're feeling right now, 
it's temporary and I know it's so seductive because when you feel it you think it's forever you think it's always going to be that way but here's the hope again our feeling is subject to change because our thinking is always changing so go easy on yourself ladies whatever it is that looks like the problem for you go easy okay it's temporary the more serious you feel about it <clears throat> the more you need to back away from it so in my case <laughs> I won't stop eating pizza but I will definitely wisdom tells me go easy on the dairy and next time I'll choose in accordance but in noticing the thinking I get to back away from the problem and wisdom comes through let me know what you hear in this one has it been helpful what's sticking out for you what problem looks real to you right now and I'll come back to you soon with another Facebook live here from Rimini in northern Italy right on the beach today no one around on a Monday <laughs> lots of love ladies ciao